What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to uninstall bloatware and other OEM slash carrier install software that came on your Android device without the need for a root. Basically, if you open up your phone for the first time or you simply factory reset it, you may find apps like Evernote, Facebook, etc. installed on your device, of which you might never use any of them and they're sitting there taking up precious resources and space. For me, Evernote's taking up about 400 megs of my already limited 32 gigabytes and because it came pre-installed with my LG firmware, I can't get rid of it. Long story short, you can uninstall bloatware that comes pre-installed that you can't uninstall from the phone itself. You only get the option to disable by using a useful piece of software called ADB. That's what I'll be showing you in this video now. All you need to do is make sure you have your phone, a USB cable to plug it into your computer, and then you'll be heading across to the link in the description down below to download Android debugging tools, ADB. The link will look something like this. You'll find one for Windows, one for Mac and one for Linux. The installation for the other two may be a bit different. I'll only be showing you Windows in this. Anyway, heading across to dl.google.com, etc., etc., we'll immediately start downloading a zip file. When it's done, open it up, and it'll be extracting this file inside of it to somewhere like our desktop. After it's done, we can close the zip and open up the folder. There we go. First of all, you'll need to open up your phone's settings and enable USB debugging. This is different for practically every phone, but what you need to do is enable the developer options, which you can do by heading into your phone, settings, about, and then finding the build number, then tapping on it seven times to enable the developer options menu in the previous screen. If you head back to the general settings tab, you'll find a new developer options category that you can open. When you've actually found it, enabled it, opened it up, you'll need to look for the USB debugging option of which you'll need to turn on. If prompted for a password or anything like that, make sure to put it in. Once your phone has USB debugging enabled, plug it into your computer. And if your phone lets you pick different modes, you'll need to change it from say charging only to file transfer or MTP mode. Once again, this is different for basically every phone. As you can see, my phone now appears here, internal storage and SD card. Awesome, it's now connected and working. All you have to do from here is make sure that you have the platform tools folder open. Click at the very top where we can type in something here and type in CMD, then hit enter. This opens a command prompt window in this directory. You can also do it on some computers by holding shift, right clicking in the folder and then choosing open command prompt here. Though if you see open PowerShell window here, commands may be a little bit different there. Anyways, from here, all we need to do is go ahead and type in ADB space devices and hit enter. Upon doing this, you may get a pop-up on your phone saying something about allow USB debugging. Make sure that you click yes, allow. And once you've done so, run the ADB devices command once again, and hopefully your device pops up. After a couple of runs, you can see my device shows up over here. For me on my LG phone, I had to change it into charging mode for it to pop up here. Anyways, once you see your device, all you have to do is type in ADB space shell and hit enter. Now all we'll do is type in PM list packages and hit enter. If you'd like to search this for say a specific word, you can enter a pipe followed by grep space and inside of single quotes, a word that you like to search for. So in my case, say Google. After doing this, you'll find names that only contain Google in them. I for one know that I'm looking for Evernote. So I'll type in grep ever and hit enter. Now we see Evernote Promo Helper and Evernote. In order to actually uninstall one of these, all we need to do is type in pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero, followed by the full name of it. No, not including the package prefix. So in my case, just com.evernote. I'll paste it in and then hit enter. Then I'll go ahead and run the other one, Promo Helper, hit enter once again, and it's a success. Let's go ahead and search my phone once again. PM list packages, grep ever. Now, as you can see, nothing has been returned. If I were to check my physical phone in front of me, the Evernote app will no longer be there. Do be very careful about what apps you uninstall, as if you uninstall something that's important to your operating system actually running, such as say the Google Play Store, you may be forced to do something as drastic as factory resetting your phone in order to get it back. Most of the time, if you don't uninstall the Google Play Store, you can re-download apps from the normal app store 
install them and use them as per normal. For another test, this time I'll be uninstalling LG Smart World. It's another pre-made app that came with my phone, and in fact, it's pretty much useless. ADB shell, and inside of here, I'll be searching for PM list packages, rep, and I'll be looking for smart. Enter, and we'll see everything that comes back. So smart share, smart share, smart setting, GoPro, and smart share push. Maybe this hasn't got what we're looking for. Let's search for say world. And there we go, it's called LG World. So names may not be exactly what they say. And of course, there's another app that you can use if you'd like to figure out what exactly apps are called on your phone. This app is called App Inspector and you'll find it linked in the description down below as well. After installing it, all you have to do is open it up, head into the app list, and you'll find a list of all of the apps on your phone. Once you've found it, click on it to open it up, and inside of it, you'll be looking at the subheader of whatever the app is. So you may find Facebook, you click on it, and inside of the new screen that you land on, you'll see com.facebook. That is basically what you'll be typing in here. And of course, you can search for it, so you can copy and paste it. Anyways, pm uninstall hyphen k hyphen hyphen user zero space followed by the name of the package. So it's LG world. I'll copy it, paste it, hit enter. And now it's been uninstalled. Poof, as simple as that. As you can immediately see, as the screenshot on screen shows, it says not installed anymore on my phone. Clicking it up doesn't even get me the ability to do anything with it. So if I refresh my apps list by closing and reopening the settings window, you'll simply see that smart world says not installed. It's really as simple as that. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.